Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Captain Foley with you back again, guys. Welcome back. Um, today, I have a few things I'd like to talk about. Nothing specific again. Uh, unfortunately, I just haven't had the time this week to get a proper captain's log put together. Um, so this is a last minute thing on Thursday. Just trying to uh, keep you guys in the loop and talk to you guys about some stuff. So, uh, first thing is first. Uh, I want to promote somebody that I really like on YouTube. Uh, this guy, he's got something called the 80s Retro Toy Museum. Uh, it's basically a room in his house that's dedicated to 80s toys. So Transformers, G.I. Joes, Mask, Cops, um, Thundercats, a whole bunch of great stuff. Uh, he's a fantastic guy, makes awesome videos. Uh, so if that's your kind of thing, um, I would like you guys to check him out. His name is Michael Mercy. Um, exactly how it spelled, uh, sounds, uh, Mercy is M-E-R-C-Y, uh, fantastic YouTuber, uh, he actually lives in Kitchener, so about an hour from me, which I thought was awesome when I found that out. I had been watching his videos for a while and heard that he was Canadian, uh, he mentioned that a few times, and then he f mentioned Kitchener, and I'm like, oh my god. So I commented on some of his videos and, uh, reached out to him, and I've been talking to him back and forth via email. At some point, I'd like to do a crossover of some sort with him, because uh, as you guys know, I'm a huge Transformers fan, huge 80s retro fan, and he wants to do something with Star Trek eventually. Um, so I would really like it if you guys could go over there and help him out by, per by joining his channel. He's got some fantastic videos, as I said, um, and I really, I really want to go visit his toy museum is what I want to do. Um, <laughs> But uh, it's no, it seems like a great guy. Uh, we've been talking back and forth quite a few times, and I really, I really like him. I like his attitude. I like his positivity. His, he's always very positive and great message, and his delivery on his videos is fantastic, and he just makes some awesome videos. Uh, he recently did one on his Transformers Masterpiece Collection, so the larger Transformers based on G1 Transformers. Included with visual effects and everything. It was just a fantastic video, so I highly recommend it, guys. So Michael Mercy, look him up on YouTube if you can. Um, next up, I'd like to talk a little to you about um, Star Trek Adversaries. Uh, this is a, a free game to download. Just look up Star Trek Adversaries on Google. You'll find the download link. Um, these guys are fantastic. Um, the game's fun. It's kind of like a card-based game. I've never been into card-based games, uh, but this one is actually really fun to do. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they, you know, we've, we've sponsored a few of their, they've sponsored a few of our videos and we've worked with them. Um, they, it's absolutely awesome. If you love ships, you got to check out this game. And most of you are here because you love ships. If you're on Trek Yards, it's because you love ships. The 3D models they have are fantastic. You can build your, your fleet. You can uh, get cards. It's free to play, uh, free to upgrade. Uh, if you know, if you're lucky to get, you know, the packs, uh, you can buy packs, of course, but, uh, so a fantastic game, Star Trek Adversaries, look it up, it is so fun, um, you got, they have the 3D models of the ships that you can do rotations on, uh, and really get some nice screenshots of the ships if you want, from different angles, and the models are really nicely done, even stuff from Discovery, um, and things like that, so, definitely worth checking out, I really encourage you guys, um, so, that's that. Uh, so that's my first two callouts. Third of all, s guys, Stardust. <laughs> I want to hit 150 people. I want to bring 150 people into the app. So far, I've brought in like 60, I think. Um, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could download the Stardust app for your phone and add me or follow me, Captain Foley, just Captain Foley, um, on there. Uh, so it would really help me out and help me become a verified um, reviewer on there and by verified reviewer uh, I, I get certain perks um, you know being one of the first that people see uh, being you know as as I say verified so it's somebody that people will see more often and you know it, it, it's just beneficial for me if you guys could do that and I really have fun doing the reviews uh, you can review movies and TV shows episodes of TV shows 
uh, in three to thirty second little video clips and it's really fun I mean even if you just download the app and play around with it for a few minutes it's really fun to kinda watch other people's reactions to things you love and also leave your own if you if you feel so inclined um, and if you if you guys follow me I'll follow you right back so I mean I think it's a win-win even if you download it and follow me and then maybe delete it if you don't like it um, that would still be beneficial to me so uh, if you could that would be awesome if not I mean I'm not gonna make you do anything you don't want to do obviously um, but I just think it's a really fun app that a lot of you guys will really enjoy I know I really enjoy doing it and I have a lot of fun and like I said I've been doing all my all the TOS episodes I'm halfway through season two right now so if you ever want to hear what I think about a specific Star Trek episode check it out on the Stardust app because it'll be on there uh, you get a quick reaction to or a synopsis of the episode uh, and my thoughts on it uh, and some some episodes I'll do more than one you know after I watch it if I see something I didn't pick up the first time I will redo another one because you can do as many as you want uh, you also get to see my favorite movies and things you get to rate them uh, one to five stars so you can kinda get a feel for what I'm interested in and what I think of certain things that you might like um, so you get my thoughts on that. So if you guys could download the Stardust app, that would be greatly appreciated. I would really love you guys forever for it. I'd love you guys forever regardless, but uh, that would really help me out and be really cool. So uh, Also, if you guys recall, I showed you guys my 350 uh, Millennium Falcon model that I have done from the Resistance Fighter set. Uh, I compared it with my 350 uh, Constitution class in a previous video. Um, I actually have it right here. So here it is here, my little falcon. So yeah, this is one 350 scale. Uh, absolutely beautiful little model. And this is from Bandai. And like I said, it's called the Resistance Fighter set uh, because it comes with this and two of the new X-Wings from the new movies. Uh, there's Poe Dameron's X-Wing right here. And this is the one from The Last Jedi. It's got the booster rocket on the back there. And these are 1 144 scale models. So not 350, but 144 scale. So there's this one, and then there's. So that's Poe Dameron, the main good guy. And you got this one here, which is one of the blue squadron. I put pick blue three you get to choose uh, the position there but uh, really nice little models uh, really fun to build really easy to build <clears throat> the uh, this the markings on them are actually stickers they're not decals so if you're not a model maker these are awesome for you because you just throw on the stickers um, you can paint them if you want or just just use the stickers I've done a you know a nice wash and paint job on them um, and they're almost done. I'm not going to say they're completely done because I like adding little details and stuff later. But because there's no decals um, and they're really quick and easy to build and they're small, uh, they're perfect for somebody that's just starting out in model building <coughs> or even somebody that doesn't even really know um, or doesn't know much about model making. Uh, they're very simple to do. Uh, you can really detail them up like I did with my Falcon. Um, all the little rust, the rust colored areas and the gray areas and the yellow areas on the Falcon. Uh, you can either paint those, which is what I did, or you can use the stickers that are included um, to, to detail that. So uh, very simple to use and very fun. Nice little kits. The Bandai kits are awesome. If you can get a, your hand to any of the Star Wars Bandai models, they're fantastic and they're easy to build. Most of them don't require glue. You can snap those together pretty quick and they look fantastic. Um, even the figure sets, you get the droids and stuff like that. So it's really easy to build and the results are fantastic. So I encourage you to get Bandai Star Wars kits. <clears throat> and last night at our model meeting, our monthly model meeting, last night was the swap meet. So I went in with like almost no money and <laughs> came out with even less money. You didn't expect to buy anything, but of course I had to come away with a few things. Um, this I got for 10 bucks. This is the Vulcan shuttle or the, the warp sled as it's called from TNG. This was done by, designed by Andrew Probert and this 
painting on this illustration on the new box. This is a new kit um, right there that is done by Andrew Probert himself painted. Um, so on the back here you got the option of making it either the a Vulcan ship with Vulcan markings because this, it was called the Vulcan shuttle even though in the motion picture it was actually a Federation shuttle. And here you got the Federation markings, the Aztecing and things like that. Now one interesting little fact here, it says right here, where is it, right there, NCC-1701. And yes, <clears throat> while the 350 refit model does come with this shuttle, two of them actually, uh, the shuttle on top there, uh, the warp sled should not be labeled as 1701. The warp sled does not fit in the shuttle bay, would not fit in the shuttle bay. The shuttle does, the little detachable shuttle, right there, would fit in the actual shuttle bay of the Enterprise. Not much room, because it's a bigger shuttle than the standard shuttles, but I just thought it was interesting that it said 1701 on it. I see that as a bit of a mistake, but what can you do, right? So I've already got the motion picture, the original release of this kit downstairs uh, in the box, and the, the one with the motion picture uh, the original release. The sticker sheet has like this prismatic purple um, sticker that goes on the warp nacelles, the inner chiller grills. So it, got, it has this like almost holographic effect. Uh, they stopped doing that right after those kits. Uh, if you can, if you have a motion picture era refit kit that has those stickers, you're lucky because those stickers are hard to find. The prismatic. Um, <clears throat> inner chiller grills for those warp drive, for those warp nacelles. This one's cool. Um, it has a magnetic uh, attachment for the, the, the main shuttle here to attach to the body. Uh, the original one doesn't have that, of course. So it's just a little magnet that just pops it on. Uh, and interestingly enough, this one, when I opened it up, this one was... Uh, surprised me because I've never seen this before. But when you open this one up, it's actually pink. It's salmon colored. It's manly salmon color. I mean, <laughs> but there, it's uh, a pink styrene, salmon styrene. Um, and the reason for that, I was kind of surprised. I was like, what? what? What's the reason for that? Um, but of course, if you look on the front, if you do the Vulcan ship, the Vulcan version, it's got a pink hue to it, a red hue because it's a Vulcan ship. And there's three different kinds of Vulcan markings you can apply using the decals. Uh, so this will be a fun build. I think it's probably the same molds that they used for the original one that I have downstairs, but I'd be interesting to compare the two and see what we have there. I don't know when I'll get around to building this. I didn't need this for my collection, but here it is. Um, and I couldn't go wrong with the price. For 10 bucks, you can't go wrong with this one. So uh, that's why I scooped it up. Uh, I'm looking forward to building it for sure. Uh, eventually, I will. But uh, yeah, so there's that. And uh, if you can find it for a good price, I'd recommend it, guys. It look, it's such a cool looking ship. I had to have the, the box art done by the ship's designer, Andrew Probert. That's fantastic. I also picked up this one. This one I hemmed and hawed about going, <sighs> I don't know, I don't need it. But. B, Excelsior, well, Enterprise B. I guess you could call it the Excelsior refit. As you guys know, I hate the Excelsior. <laughs> Not a fan of the Excelsior, but the Enterprise B I like. Um, so when I see this kit, I really only see the Excelsior. I don't see the B. Once I assemble it, maybe I will. This thing I also got for a great price. Um, and the guy's like, just take it. You know, I'll knock five dollars off it for you. You know you want it. So I said, fine. I used to hate the Enterprise C. I used to hate the Ambassador class ship uh, until I built the model kit. Once I built the model kit, the Ambassador is now one of my favorite designs. Once you hold it in your hand and you see it from all the angles, it really is fun to uh, to do that with ships because you get a new appreciation for them. So I figured, okay, fine, whatever. I'll get this one. So, I mean, here it is. Just part of it, obviously. Um, it's 1 1,000 scale, so it'll match up with my 1 1,000 scale TOS Enterprises downstairs. 
And I believe my ambassador class is 1 1,000th scale as well. It's downstairs. I'm not sure. I'd have to check, but pretty sure it is. So, here's some of the main components just kind of quickly slapped together. So, I'm looking forward to building this one as well. Again, when I get around to it, if I get around to it, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, that's basically my video for today, guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you those few things and kind of talk about that a little bit. And also, like I said, promote uh, Star Trek Adversaries. Fantastic game. Fun game. It's free. It's coming to mobile platforms very soon. Uh, so your iPad, your iPhone, your Android phone, whatever. That'll be one of the additions they're rolling out soon. Uh, but for now, you can get it on your PC. Uh, like I said, just look up Star Trek Adversaries. You'll find the download and check it out. It's really fun. Uh, also, subscribe to Michael Mercy on YouTube. If you guys love 80s toys or just 80s retro, uh, he does more than toys. He does uh, podcasts talking about um, 80s shows like Knight Rider and Airwolf and Magnum P.I. and things like that. So, my kind of guy. I love this guy. Uh, so, if I can help promote him, please, by all means, go over there. Click subscribe, join his tribe, nerd miste as he would say. Um, so join the tribe and let him know that Captain Foley from Trekyard sent you. Uh, like I said, I want to have a crossover with this guy. I want to meet up with him in person and maybe check out his toy museum in person. I think that'd be really fun. Um, I'd like, to, like him to come see my collection as well. I got a not too shabby collection myself, as you guys know. Uh, you haven't really seen my 80s toy collection. I got G.I. Joe, uh, Star Wars, and uh, Transformers. A few other things. You guys really haven't seen a lot of that stuff, but trust me, I have a good collection. Uh, most of it's packed away in bins right now, but <laughs> anyway, so if you can help him out, that'd be awesome. And also, lastly, of course, the Stardust app. If you guys want to get your reviews on what you think of things, movies, and TV shows out there to the world to see, your friends, your family, uh, you can do that. It's fun. It's a simple download. Yeah, jo yeah create a little account and you're off and running. You can check out other people's reviews on things you love and make your own. And when you're there, even if you download it just to delete it, follow Captain Foley and that will really help me out and help uh, get me a, become a verified account and a verified reviewer, re reviewer on there. Blah, 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 blah. Reviewer on there. Um, so anyway guys, that's the Captain's Log for today. Hope it was exciting. Hope you enjoyed it. It wasn't really exciting. It was just interesting hopefully. Anyway, until next time, guys, I'm Captain Foley, and I will see you in the future. Bye, guys. Live long and prosper.